Alrighty then, uh, what we're doing today, well I'm going to show you how to make lower thirds. A viewer had asked, how can I make lower thirds using Corel Video Studio? And the answer is really simple. Here we go. Let's grab the Boris FX filter and drop it onto your footage. Double click, Customs Filter. You'll end up in your library browser and underneath Static, you will see all your lower thirds. Look at that, look at that, there's just an absolute ton of it. So, now, you can do more than this. You can also go into the advanced mode. So let's just, <laughs> sorry about that. I left my phone on. Yeah, hello. Hey, Crips, it's Bart. Hey. You might not using the Boris filter because not everybody has that filter. I see. Thanks. Okay, um, well, okay. Let's not use the Boris filter. What else can I do? Well, sometimes I use uh, another software called Particle Illusion. Here it is. And as you can see, Particle Illusion makes really cool, cool lower thirds. Now the text here, even though it's uh, comes, this is a preset, but I can go into the properties and then change that text, obviously. And it's very simple to do. Hey, um, excuse me one more. Yes, hello. What, are you retarded? They haven't got Boris. What makes you yeah, think they've got Particle I was Illusion? <laughs> can you just stick with Corel Video and nothing else? Okay. Thanks. All right. Um, <clears throat> All right, let's go back to, all right, so what else can I do then? If I can't use soft part, third party and you don't have the ultimate version, how do I go about making a lower third? Well, if you're using Corel Video Studio Pro X6, you can make a lower third quite easy. Let's go into the background colors and I'm gonna grab red, drop it onto my timeline. Uh, now, once I'm here, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to custom motion. I'm gonna create my own lower thirds simply by doing this. Look at that. Now, if uh, you come here and you do this and you have this sort of effect happening, that no matter what you do, it's just that you have it linked. You can unlink that and then you can move it individually. Okay. Also, this is kind of retarded. Here you got a little window. You can get rid of that. Just right click and it says you show object distortion window and there's no check to it yet. It's visible. Okay, this is kind of weird. Uh, click on it. <laughs> Close it. Yeah, if it really bothers you, this is what you need to do. Open it up, click on it again, and now you have a check. Now click on it and it disappears. It's retarded, I know, it's a bug. And I'm sure it'll be fixed in the next version. All right, so now that I have it here, I probably want it to move over across the screen. But right now, if I do that, it's, you know, it's gonna go back to its full size and shape. So I need to just get rid of all the keyframing that I've just done. So right click, and copy and paste to all right. So now if I move it, it's just static, right? Now I want to do something pretty cool. I want it to move all the way across the screen. So let's start here. I'll just move it again. And I'm going to move it across the screen. So I'm going to drop the timeline all the way to the end. Move it all the way to the end on this side. And that's all I want to do. So press OK. And now my lower third will also be animated. Isn't that cool? So now I can add my text. So let's go into the text track. And I'll just type in something like grips video. There you go. All right. Uh, just, I'm just going to place it somewhere that looks pretty cool. There you go. All right. I'm not going to be too worried about the size and shape because I'm going to end up distorting that anyway. And I'll show you why. Now go back into your solid background color. And I want you to right click on it and copy the attributes. Then I want you to uh, right click on your text track and paste the attributes. All right, my mouse is not working. And then paste optional attributes. And I'll show you why, because sometimes there are certain attributes done to a layer that you do not wish to apply it to the other. And so you can uncheck them here. So I thought I'd show you that. And then press this. Now watch what happens to my letters. Get squished, but that's not a problem. I'll fix that. And now I'm moving my text and my lower third at the same time. And I've actually animated, there we go, it's probably, I've animated my lower third. So I'm going to just fix my word grips. So let's go into the custom motion. And it's just a matter of doing this. Okay. And probably make it small. I don't need it to be that big. Well, actually, I'm just going to leave it there. 
Now, I, I can't copy and paste this all right, because if I do that, I'm also going to lose the track motion. So what I need to do is carefully look at the size, 55 and 47. Then we go over here, and then just type in 55 and 47. So 55 and 47, and then press OK. It might be a little bit off, because I end up moving it slightly. All right, there you go. So there you go, I managed to make a custom uh, lower third using the custom motion settings. And I can do, I can add more to it as one. You know, you don't just need to have one background, you can have multiple backgrounds. As, as many as you want, I think you can add 20, because that's how many layers you got. Right click, track manager, how many have I got? 20, I can go crazy. <laughs> All right, and here we go. So let's make it a little bit fancier. And then add it here. Okay, that looks all right. And then I, again, I can add the attributes and, and, and join them all together. Now, while I'm here, I'll show you one more thing. I'm going to enlarge this window. If uh, I can change the perspective the way this looks. Unfortunately, we can't make circles, so we're kind of limited. And as you can see, I can change the perspective of the way the, the rectangle is. But what happens if I want to rotate it? What happens if I want this lower third to come spinning in? I can use picture in picture, but I want to be a little bit more detailed. I don't have any rotation nodes, or do I? Yes, I do. Let's go into our one we've already started, custom motion. You'll see here that these have purple uh, nodes, so I can easily rotate it this way. And that is how I can rotate uh, any object that I have on my, on my screen by using the custom motion. So there you go. That's how easy it is to create your very own lower thirds using Corel Video Studio and the motion tracking feature. And as always, thanks for watching.